Hello. As a part of our new endeavor of creating awareness on several chronic diseases, we're going to explain diabetes type 1 and 2 today. We won't get into gestational diabetes. However, in this short video, you will know everything that you need to know about diabetes, and we will sum up by the end of the video how a great supplement Moringa can be for a diabetic patient. Let me introduce you to Mary. She's a non-diabetic. Mary eats bread, which contains glucose, or we can call it sugar. Her pancreas will produce the insulin hormone. In case you weren't yet aware of, insulin is a hormone that we normally produce. It is not a medicine. Insulin will take the glucose to cells and turn it into energy. Now let me introduce you to Lily. She has diabetes type 1. She is probably a child or a teenager, as most type 1 diabetics are young people. Lily eats a piece of bread just like Mary did. But her pancreas doesn't produce insulin at all. Therefore, her body is unable to use the glucose on the bread, and now she has higher levels of sugar in her blood. She is now also at risk of oxidative tissue damage. Furthermore, if glucose doesn't reach cells, it can lead to ketoacidosis. This happens because without glucose, the body cells must use ketones, which are toxic acids as a source of energy. Ketoacidosis develops when ketones build up in the blood. It can become serious and lead to diabetic, coma or even death. Therefore, Lily is going to get insulin shots prescribed. Following medical indications, she can live a long and healthy life. Finally, let's meet Haley. She has diabetes type 2. She may be a middle-aged adult, as age is not a characteristic of diabetes type 2. One of two things is happening with Haley. Either her pancreas is not producing enough insulin or the insulin isn't well used. Haley will eat bread, too like Mary and Lily did, and the glucose will make it to the cell and become energy because the insulin she has, as we just said, isn't enough or isn't properly used in her body. Her doctor may prescribe oral treatment, or if it's necessary, she will have to take insulin shots. For all diabetic patients, exercise and diet are important. Adding Moringa leaves to that diet is even more important. Moringa is a tree, and its leaves have up to 46 antioxidants that will help counteract the oxidative damage in the body's tissues caused by diabetes. Also, Moringa may help regulate blood sugar levels. It can't be used as a treatment on its own, but it will help the body to respond to treatment. If you want to learn more about Moringa, visit our website. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel.